the Lincoln Street Art Park has been around for many years, and it is an important staple of Detroit's artistic community. And this is its story. Founded in 2011, the Lincoln Street Art Park was created so people could enjoy art and create art freely. The art park was opened around an abandoned industrial site, right next to a now crumbling building. This incredible location is nestled right inside Midtown Detroit. It's a hidden gem known to very few that are not denizens of Detroit. The Lincoln Street Art Park is a venue that's been used for many things, from late night partying, to performances and plays, even to yoga. Adjacent to the Lincoln Street Art Park is the Recycle Here Recycling Center. Artist Oren Goldenberg and Matt Niami are the founders of the redevelopment project Dream Troy and the owners of the Lincoln Street Art Park and Recycle Here. Currently, they are looking to expand the Lincoln Street Art Park even further. The park is constructed around an abandoned Lincoln Motor Car Factory, which is now beginning to fall apart as the roof has caved in. The property was under the ownership of Niami's father until he purchased it in 1997 from his family. Their plan, which recently got a $20 million approved grant, would see the area be turned into artist studios and living space for low-income houses. Many artists in Detroit have been displaced due to raising rent around the studios in which they work. This has apparently become a common problem for artists. Many other cities like Los Angeles, New York, or Portland are practically unlivable for an artist as the cost of living there is just far too high for an artist to afford. Dream Troy is attempting to remedy that problem by providing free space for artists to work and low-income housing. Although the place is being built for artists, it is important to note that artists aren't the only ones that have to live there. It is possible that regular residents might encounter artists working on new projects. These collisions of communities, as Niami puts them, would open people up to all manner of interesting interactions and education. The project is suspected to be completed in 2022. When it is, it will provide artists a safe location to hone in their craft and help build a community. Hey Nick, I found another poetry by Boots right here. Amazing. This is such a this is a beautiful place. This is a really incredible place. Where is it? It's right there on the ground. Oh. Look at this incredible, incredible place. 
So this right here is where the main bit of the art park is. It's really, really beautiful. Look at these cool sculptures. And then there's that big old sculpture right over there. That is incredible. So check this out. This is really cool. Look at that, there's a plane right there. In this little blocked off highway area. That is so freaking cool. Look at that, that is incredible. The Lincoln Street Art Park is a very incredible place, and Dream Troit is a very fascinating idea. Building an entire community for artists right at the center of the city of Detroit certainly seems like a wonderful endeavor, and it'll be very interesting to see if they are successful. But as it is now, the Lincoln Street Art Park is still a haven for artists, and a very important part of Detroit's artistic community. And this incredible place will never be forgotten. Well, Caleb, I've done. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Caleb, I've done some thinking. I need. Uh, all right. Don't that. Well, Caleb, I've done some thinking. I think we need to assess uh, our situation here. I'm keeping all the parts you messed up in. <laughs> <laughs>